soldiers need every resource available to them during battle, one of the newest tools in the military's arsenal is the unmanned aircraft. This is the Gray Eagle unmanned aerial vehicle. It's currently being used overseas. It weighs in at 3,600 pounds, about as much as my pickup, but it flies at 25,000 feet and is the future in military surveillance. Twice we must go, I was working at a factory in Detroit. UAV specialist Jacob Presno is a Michigan native who signed up for the military not long after high school. In September, he was assigned to Fort Hood's drone program. For the past 35 days, he's been training to operate the Gray Eagle. Today marks the 100th hour of successful training and the first during daylight. I really do enjoy it. I enjoy every single day I'm here at work. I'd rather be at work than have time off just because I enjoy working so much. And who can blame him? He gets to fly one of the baddest remote control planes in the world. But it's not all fun and games. UAVs can assist commanders in the field, letting them know what areas are safe and which are hostile. And yes, when equipped, they can be used to swiftly take out enemies. I think it provides uh, more capability to, the, to the, the soldiers on the ground to give them better awareness of the, uh, of, of the battlefield. Though there are civilian uses for RC planes, Fort Hood officials want to make it certain. The fleet of four Gray Eagles have not and will not ever be used to monitor public airspace in Texas. They are solely operated in Fort Hood airspace. The planes are not armed and are strictly for training purposes only. In Fort Hood, Colby Howe reporting.